Today I was in Walmart and I seen this kid throwing a huge tantrum. He was screaming at his mother, give me back my phone. She would say no. He would ask why not and she said because I said so. Then he would start screaming again. By the time I get up to the cash register and start checking my own items out, he walks over like halfway in between us and says my mama's a big meanie. She won't give me my phone back. I said why not? He said because she said so. I said no sir, it's because of how you're acting in this store right now. I said if you would go over there and apologize to her, be appreciative, help her load those groceries up, help her unload them and put them up when you get home, you'll probably get your phone back. He just kind of stood there for a minute and then he went back over to where his mom was. And I swear to God, he started picking up bags of groceries, putting them in the buggy for her. And when she got done paying, he said, I'm sorry. Then he grabbed the buggy and started pushing it out the door. So I'm not far behind him when we get out to the parking lot. And I see him pulling bags out the buggy, putting them in the back of the car. So I start walking to go past them when she stops me. She said, I don't know what you said, but it helped. I said, communication is everything with children. Because I said so, only confuses or infuriates them even more. You have to tell him what you want him to do, and in return, he'll get his phone. Kids today think these phones are a priority because they're born with one in their hand. You have to be the one to teach them, no, this is a privilege, and a privilege is earned. And when they earn it, give them their reward. You have to be the one to break the cycle, let go of the way you were raised, and find a new, better way to raise your children. If you learn how to properly communicate with your family, you won't have to yell, threaten, and punish nowhere as much as you do. Your kids are a lot smarter than you think they are. And when children witness their parents yelling and screaming and throwing tantrums, of course they're going to think that's what they need to do to get what they want. So it's on you to set a good example and teach them how to communicate. 